Hey, what's up you guys? This is Angela Angie. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing today. So this is part two of my oil series and on this one I will be talking about carrier oils, healthy hair carrier oils. So if you haven't seen part one, part one is where I was talking about essential oils that I use and the benefit that I use it for. So on this one I'll be covering carrier oils and then also kind of tell y'all how um, I mix my oils up and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. So the first oil that we're going to be talking about is castor oil. Oil. pop the picture right there all information will be down below if you guys are interested in this and also I'll tell like different places where you can get these oils and stuff from but castor oil the main the main reason why I use castor oil is to thicken up the hair this is a pretty thick oil and so it helps to thicken up the hair so if you are suffering from like thin thin hair or you have like thin spots a lot of the times I see people who like I said you know the edges sometimes you have to be very careful with those because anything can like pull them out so you got to be very careful not you know have too tight of styles and then also another problem area that everybody has or a lot of people have is the middle of the hair because that's where the stress spot is so sometimes um a lot of people kind of lose hair in that area so if you want to kind of start thickening that up get you some castor oil and then not just get the oil but massage it in get that in your scalp i also have a video on how i massage my scalp for faster hair growth also um I'll show y'all a couple of tools that I can use if you don't want to use the hands and you want something a little bit uh, stronger so I'll show you that I'll list that down below but for thinning hair get you some castor oil all right, you guys, so number two, we have the sunflower seed oil. And I usually use Now Solutions, but this one is a good brand as well. Um, sunflower oil, if you have dull, dry hair, sunflower oil is really good for softening and shining your hair. So a lot of the times when the ends of my hair, um, you know, I kind of feel like dry and I kind of, and, you know, they kind of have that dull look. You can grab you some sunflower seed oil, put it on the ends and, you know, it'll bring it back to life. Next, we have my favorite is the coconut oil. And this is just a brand that I had got because I couldn't find the Now Solutions. But I did have it at first. I took the label off, but they have liquid form, form and they have the cold press form. So I'll pop both of those up there just in case you guys are interested. But, you know coconut oil has been a love for mine for a long time and I really love coconut oil because it really moisturized the hair like I love to use coconut oil when I do my moisturizing sealing method and if you don't know what that is it's when you get a moisturizer and you moisturize your hair and then you go on top of it with an oil and what that oil does is it locks that moisture in your hair so a lot of the times the oil of my choice would be coconut oil because it is very moisturizing to the hair so um yeah you guys there's so many other benefits like i said on the other video because they all have a lot of vitamins and minerals and all that good stuff like i said i'll put uh something down below if you guys want to kind of look further in there but in this you know in this video i'm just kind of just telling the main reason why i go for um each oil so that is a coconut oil for you and oh another thing is it penetrates the um the uh the hair strand really really well so all right, you guys, so next up we have grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is really good for protecting your hair from heat. So if you use a lot of heat on your hair, um, like blow drying and, you know, uh, flattering or whatever, which I don't do that as much, but when I do, uh, one of the oils that I like to use when doing that is grapeseed oil because... Um, it really protects the hair from heat damage and not only that it's like a really light oil so it doesn't really weigh the hair down so that's another reason why i really like using this one so that is my go-to for heat protection if i don't have like any chi or you know the spray to protect my hair or whatever gracie oil is a great choice all right you guys next we have avocado oil and I usually, like I said, I usually use the Now Solutions. This is the only one that I had because I'm out of that one. But I will pop the, the one I initially used up there. But um, avocado oil is a protein-based oil. So when I do my protein treatments, I like to put a couple of drops of avocado oil in there just to up that protein that I need for my hair. And it really does well. Um, I mix a little couple of drops in with my um, protein treatments, mix it up. Sometimes I use the carrot oil. Um, not carrot oil. What is it? The... Um, the carrot protein 
uh, treatment and I put a couple of drops of avocado oil and it really works well I really like it and it does a lot of greatness for my hair so that is the avocado oil all right you guys so last on this series is the walnut oil this is also a lightweight oil walnut oil is also good for hair loss and if you use if you looked at my essential oil video you know that um lavender is also good for hair loss so a couple of drops of lavender in your walnut oil would really help with hair loss so um and also this prevents um cell damage to the hair or to your scalp and everything so that is a really really good oil and it promotes faster hair growth so that's for that so like I said, you guys, I might do a part three because there's so many other oils that I have that I want to touch bases on, but that's just the ones that I'm doing for right now. So I'm going to let y'all know how I do my oil mixture. So I get these little bottles from my local um, Sally's here, and this is just like little bottles that they use to dye hair or whatever, but you can also put your little oils in there. Now, I have di three different oils. I have one to massage the ends. I have one to massage the the scalp, and then I have one just to do my um, moisturizing and seal. So, say since you got the list, you know if you if you took notes and you have your list of everything that you need, just really pay attention to your hair. If your hair feels dry, if you notice um, some itching here, you know you just go down your list and you pick the ones that your hair needs. So if you need itching get you a couple of drops of peppermint oil if your hair is dry too put you some uh sunflower seed oil and if you're you know dealing with hair loss put you a couple of drops of um lavender shake it up always have more carrier oil than you have essential oil that's the rule that i go by but of course you know i'm just telling y'all you know how i do it but you'll kind of combine all of those together shake it up and run it through your scalp massage it in and that can really really help you on your hair journey so that's how i choose to do mine i just kind of pay attention to my hair and see what my hair needs and then i go for that and then not only that sometimes i will put like little um I don't know if you guys can see that sometimes I'll put like little herbs in my uh, oils just for that extra boost like one of the herbs that I really like to um, work with is the rose uh, the rose herbs or the rose petals um, because rose is really good for softening the hair so if I want something like this is for my ends so I got some sunflower in there I got some um, rose in there and a, other, a lot of other good oils that I you know like the coconut and all that kind of stuff I kind of got it mixed in there and sometimes I'll label it just to kind of know but um yeah you guys I just want to kind of do an oil video kind of let you guys know I'm going to try to do a little bit more with the um, hair talk hair care you know all of that great stuff so um, yeah you guys hopefully this video was very beneficial and hopefully you got something from it um, I will keep them coming and also um, stay tuned for part three because I want to touch bases on neem oil lord that neem oil oh my gosh um <laughs> i want to touch bases on emu oil so it's a lot of other good great oils that i want to kind of touch bases on which will probably need a video by themselves because there's so much information on them so um all right you guys hopefully this helped you and i will talk to you guys later bye